Hi YouTube, Padre Piper here. This uh, Sunday before Thanksgiving, thought I'd bring you a little bit of a YouTube devotional uh, and uh, perhaps a little bit of a uh, pipe tobacco review as well. Here in America, we're beginning to celebrate or getting ready to celebrate that annual observance of Thanksgiving and uh, that's always a great time of the year to stop and think about what it is that we're we're truly thankful for and to be able to offer thanks and praise to God for all the blessings that he's bestowed upon us. And uh, one of the symbols of Thanksgiving is the cornucopia. And so uh, having said that, I've chosen Selim's Black as a tobacco to just spend a couple of moments talking about today. It's, um, it's an interesting tobacco when you, when you uh, get a, a sense of the tin note, for me anyway, it reminds me of a cornucopia because there's just so many different fragrant fragrances and scents and uh, it's, it's a complexity of uh, on the nose, when, uh, let's just put it that way. Um, there is uh, Latakia in this blend and typically, uh, in my limited experience with, with Latakia, um, that is usually the more overpowering sort of uh, tin note. Um, not really the case with with Silum's Black. There's there's certainly uh, when you smoke it, you're you're going to get that that sort of um, uh, Latakia flavor in there, but it doesn't really stand out as the most dominant sort of note. It, it sets a really nice foundation for a good uh, flavored smoke, but there's all that other stuff going on in there. There's that cornucopia of of flavor. There's a, there's a, a berry taste to it. There's a, a certainly the, the, the scent. There's a there's a honeyness about it. There's a, a fruitiness, a citrusness. There was a there was a smell when I first opened it, and and I couldn't put my finger on it, and I kept thinking it's something I know, and it was it was giving me this sense of taking me back to childhood. I'm like, what is what is that smell? What is that fragrance? What is that? aroma and uh, it finally dawned on me it reminded me of of root beer it was a sweetness about it and I had to actually go uh, and look this up in Wikipedia I didn't know what root beer was made out of I haven't had root beer since I was a kid but uh, apparently it's sassafras and and and, and I'm not, I don't know if that's what Silim's uh, put in there or not but that was that was the scent that uh, I was getting from uh, the tin note in this cornucopia of, of scent, this cornucopia of flavor. The flavor just as complex. It's, it's a nice burning uh, tobacco. It's, uh, it's flavorful. I just think you'll, you'll truly enjoy it. <laughs> I got my, my puppy Annie down here. Hey Annie, say hello. Where is she? Hey Annie, you, you want to tell everybody? Oh, nope, there she goes. Come here, Annie. You want to get in the picture with me? Come see, girl. Uh, she's going to dig. Uh, I, I, I don't like when she does it. Come on. No digging. Get out of the garden. No digging allowed there. Uh, <laughs> and no playing. Come on. Um, anyway, uh, you know, one of the things I wanted to also share with you today, since we are heading into Thanksgiving, is a uh, Thanksgiving verse. Annie, calm down. The, the cool weather has her going crazy. She's loving it. She's, she's in a very playful mood. I wanted to share with you, it's windy out here too, uh, so I don't know if this video is going to work with all this wind or not, if it's being picked up on the microphone on my iPhone. But um, the, uh, the verse I wanted to share was in 1 Thessalonians, verse 5, uh, I'm sorry, chapter 5, I think it's verse 18, and what it tells us in God's Word is that in all circumstances, we are to give thanks, because this is what God calls us to when we're in Christ Jesus. And to me, that's an incredible verse of scripture for us as we head into Thanksgiving. In all circumstances, it says give thanks. Now, we need to notice the preposition there because it's so important. It doesn't say for all circumstances. It tells us that in all circumstances we're to give thanks. And I'll tell you, when you can, uh, when you can put that verse down deep inside of you, when you can begin to really practice that, practice the attitude of gratitude, it's going to be life-changing for you that when you realize there are going to be circumstances that you're going to be up against in life that aren't always the greatest and you don't have to give thanks for them. But while you're in them, you can 
give thanks. It's a choice. And here's the thing I've learned about Thanksgiving. If you find reasons to be in the attitude of gratitude, if you find reasons to be in the spirit of Thanksgiving, the chances are you're going to continue to find more reasons to be in the spirit of Thanksgiving, more reasons to be in the attitude of gratitude. And likewise, if you go around looking for reasons to grump and gripe, you're going to find more reasons to grump and gripe. Life is a cornucopia, not unlike this Silum's Black. So I'm going to uh, edit this part into the video. Earlier today, I noticed uh, as I was watching the playback of the video before I uploaded, there were some points that I sort of uh, left out of it that were unfortunate that I really wanted to kind of hit on, but I, I got a little distracted by uh, my, my puppy, my playful puppy today. So a um, couple of things I do want you uh, to, to know about this particular tobacco is uh, I said it's a, it's a good smoke. It is a good smoke. It smokes cool, and that that's wonderful. I have had some difficulties uh, keeping it lit from time to time. That could be me. It could be the way I'm packing uh, the tobacco. Not quite certain. Just wanted to share that with you. I do find that relights um, are not all that uncommon with this particular uh, blend. Still a very tasteful, very nice room note, particularly considering uh, this is considered by many to be an English blend. Others consider it to be an English aromatic, which I think is sort of an uh, oxymoronic sort of statement. Um, uh, hybrid is what others have referred to it as, that it's a crossover between English and, and aromatics. Um, and then finally, I wanted you to know that the, uh, the tin that it comes in, beautiful work of art, useless. So once you open that tin, you're going to want to make sure that you're going to transfer that tobacco uh, into something that's going to store it and uh, keep it um, at, at an appropriate level of moisture and such. Because that tin, once that seal is broken, the tobacco is actually in a sort of like a cellophane bag that's also sealed. But once you open that, uh, you've got to put that tobacco into something that's going to keep it fresh. So those were some points that I thought I needed to work into the video that I left out. So back to the original video to close it out. It's to grump and gripe. Life is a cornucopia, not unlike this Silum's Black. Yeah, cornucopia of wonderful stuff. Go looking, go seeking the good stuff. Go seeking reasons to be in Thanksgiving, to be in the attitude of gratitude, and I'll bet you you'll find even more reasons to do the same. My friends, happy Thanksgiving to you. Uh, sweet smokes and God's peace, grace, and blessings. This is Padre Piper along with <laughs> Along with Annie Dog. <laughs> God bless.